going to jump in once in a while just to clarify some things so that it's easy for you to follow along. see that the edge is really starting to get uneven so I decided to go ahead and chuck it up in the lathe and part that off it, it was an okay job this copper is really thin you'll see here it slightly tears uh, as I part it off but a little bit of sandpaper and kind of takes care of the situation Here I'm just mocking up the fit and before I actually solder that I, I need to clean up the end. To do that I'm going to use this pickle solution. This is one cup vinegar, one tablespoon of regular salt, and just a little bit of peroxide. The peroxide is used to amplify the effectiveness and you can only put in plastic or wood. Do not put in any steel. In order for it to be effective, it needs to be fairly warm. Um, I just heated it up in that glass bottle and then used the plastic container to actually fit my part. I was impressed with this. I, it really cleaned up the piece and in preparation for soldering. My garage was pretty cold this day and you can see that the pickle solution actually cools off. The effectiveness is really dictated by the temperature of it. This will be the top side of the lantern, uh, the main body. It's the same process as before. I don't show it entirely um, because it is the same of what you've already seen. Now this will be used for the fill and I just wanted to clean off the flat sides of this female adapter just for looks. Now you've seen probably a lot of videos on how to split a bottle and to be honest this bottle this was my very first bottle that I tried to break evenly and this side works perfectly so the process of hot to cold to hot again is great but I think due to the thickness of the glass on this particular bottle here you can see that it it split and it actually went up the body of the split so I had to repeat this process at least four different times on different bottles and this was my best result I decided to modify the entire design and only do a single break or a single split and so I'm just cleaning it up here on the belt sander
because of that change in the shape of the glass, I really had to modify my design from here on out. And things really got crazy for a while in the project. And I made this adapter, which worked out fairly well. Here I'm cutting out the piece which will hold the glass. These uh, long ends here will be folded up and they will actually help to hold the glass in place. Another change that occurred later was this cut here. I originally wanted a knob which controlled the wick. It never really worked out um, and it wasn't consistent in raising and lowering the wick. I also cut this slot to allow airflow through the chimney and I had to abandon that. You can see your remnant of it actually in the uh, background of this shot there, the half inch copper coupling. The soldering in this project was really out of control and that was mainly in part because I was not used to the different melting temperatures of the jewelers solder. I bought medium and easy and another variable that really threw me off was the different thicknesses of the actual uh, pieces. So for instance the plumbers fittings were very thick compared to the different sheets which were extremely thin. This piece will allow the wick to uh, pass up through. I just needed to bore it out. Again, I was using parts that I had on hand. I tried not to go out and buy anything for this project. It was strictly leftover material. So this will be the top of the lantern. You can see it's really starting to take shape. At this point, things I could start to see the, uh, the final result, and I was starting to feel pretty good about it. These are going to be tabs that will fold over and basically act as a holding mechanism that will sit down on the top of the glass here. And this is a hideous soldering job. A hideous. Look at that mess. 
but luckily it cleaned up okay.